it's Megan and today I thought I would do a Meg's Musings video about working out because recently I have been working out and recently as in since last week so I've been working out for like a week and a half and I just thought I would do like a vlog style like chit chat type video because I really love making these videos and I was inspired today while at the gym to make one of these videos for you guys. So just to give you like some background, um, I was never a person that like worked out or like enjoyed physical activity. Honestly, the way I told people I stayed fit was from laughing a lot and like shopping and walking around like the mall and stuff. So definitely not a like insanely active sporty person at all. The only sport that I ever like truly loved was floor hockey when we played it in high school and I was like super intense at that but I only played it during gym like I wasn't on a team or something so like that was my only form of exercise. Um, I did take like tennis lessons when I was a kid and I've played golf like ever since I was a little girl because my dad loves it so like I do that sort of stuff like sometimes like I'll play golf like once a year maybe but um on a regular basis since well until like last week when I started working out um I like never did much physical activity and um I guess when I was a freshman in college I like walked a lot obviously I walk a lot on campus but I walked like around the um surrounding neighborhoods by my college and that was really good and it like um, made me feel good you know like getting physical activity makes you feel good and made me sleep better at night because I was like getting more tired throughout the day and I have had problems with like getting to sleep and like usually my mind is just so active at night that I just can't fall asleep. So that physical activity really helped me like calm myself down at night and I would just be so exhausted that I would just fall asleep. So that was awesome. But I always was really hesitant about going to the gym because I thought, I, well I was really self-conscious and I'm not sure if other people feel this way, but whenever I thought of a gym, I thought that everyone would be like looking at you and like judging you and saying, oh, well, I can do 50 pounds, why can't you? Or why aren't you going fast enough? Or like whatever. I don't know. I was just really nervous about it. So I never went because I was scared. And that's a silly thing. Like, why would you not do something just because you're scared? Well, lots of people don't do things because they're scared because it's their fear but it, it seemed like an irrational fear that I was like afraid of the gym because of what someone might think and now that I have started going to the gym I realize it's nothing to be self-conscious about and it might be where I'm going but it might also be like my mentality or like the people around and stuff but I go to Planet Fitness and I go with my mom and we go every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and we go in the morning. So I wake up early and we go around like 9.30 or 10 o'clock. And we always make sure to have a good breakfast because the first couple, like the first two times that I went, I like just had a, like not a snack bar, but like a granola bar type thing. And, like, I did not feel well after working out. Like, I was not used to having to get up early, eat something, and then go work out. Like, usually I would wake up and then, like, lounge around, get ready, and then eat something. Like, I'm not a morning person at all, and I usually am not hungry right after I wake up. So it's been an adjustment, definitely. But now that it's on the second week, I'm getting much more used to it. So, um, alternating days, we do arms or legs. So today we did arms, so we did like all of the arm machines, well not all of them, like we don't, we don't do free weights, but we do most of the ones that are like the triceps, the biceps, like all that sort of stuff. And then, um, like on, what day is it today? <laughs> today is, what the heck? Today is Wednesday, and, um... 
Friday we would do legs. We would do all sorts of leg workouts. So like um, leg curls, just all this, I don't know most of the names of it, but um, you know what I mean. If you work out, you know. We do arm workouts like alternating times and, and leg workouts alternating times. But every time we do um, some abdominal work, so we do like abdominal crunches, and um, whenever I go, the Roman chair is never open, and I love that thing. Like, I remember doing that in high school, like, the weight room for gym, and I remember, like, loving it. So I really want to do it just to see if, like, I'm still good at it or if I still love it. Um, so I'll have to keep you guys posted on that. But we do, like, abdominal crunches. There's, like, a machine to do it on, and that's, like, it's pretty intense. Like, I... I did like 20 pounds today and that was pretty like, ooh, you know, like you feel the burn and that's good. Like you should feel the burn. And then also every day we do 30 minutes of cardio. I do the stationary bike and my mom does elliptical, but they also have like stepping machines and treadmills. So if you go to Planet Fitness or probably any other, um, any other gym, they would have like all four of those options. But today, when I was on the bike, I was thinking about, like, doing this video and things that I would say, because, like, that's just what I think about when I'm at the gym. What should I say to you guys <laughs> in my video? If you're going to the gym, it's really not about anyone else around you. And you really, if you're truly working out for, like, a good reason, as in yourself, like, you should work out for yourself and to feel good about yourself. Not because you want to impress someone or whatever. Like, you should do it for yourself and I think being healthy is a big deal. Your physical health is just as important as your mental health. And we go to school, we learn every day, and that's important to keep your mind, like, Ex exercising your mind and making it stronger and you should also do that for your body working out can help prevent like a lot of health like issues like not all of them some are like biological and hereditary but you can avoid a lot of <clears throat> avoidable um, health issues if you do spend a little bit of time <coughs> excuse me every week just exercising a little bit and you should do that for yourself because you owe that to yourself like you should treat yourself really well if you treat people around you really well you should treat yourself well and I never really thought of it that way but that's how it is like that's how it should be and um, when you're at the gym it's not you're not competing against anyone all it is is you against yourself and really it's mind over body when I am doing machines that I hate because I'm not good at them, when you get to the end of your reps, like we do 10, 10, 10, when you get to like the seventh or the eighth, you like just feel it so much and you know like sometimes your body's shaking, sometimes you just, you just don't think you can do it. But if you tell yourself in your mind like I am going to finish this and I'm like, I can do it. You can do it. Like, obviously don't do stuff that's way too heavy for you. Like, if I did, like, 80 pounds, I would, like, <laughs> no matter what mind powers I had, I would not be able to do that. But, you know what I mean? Like, you can do what you set your mind to, and that's, like, any aspect of life. But if you want to do 10 bicep curls, you can do 10 bicep curls even if it hurts halfway through. And you can just push through and you will feel, like, you might feel the burn, but it's a good burn. And it's just, like, really cool to be able to do that for yourself and to say, I did that. Like, I did it even though I didn't think I could. And it's just... Like, it makes you feel, like, awesome. Like, it makes you feel so powerful and really cool. Like, when I was doing, I don't know what what this machine was, but it was like I was pulling down on weights. My mom was like, oh my god, look at your muscles. But, of course, I couldn't look at them because I was doing the machine. But, I mean, that just made me feel good. And that's another thing. If you have a family member 
or a friend that either goes to the gym or wants to start going to the gym, have a buddy. It's fun and like you can encourage each other and it's really nice and it doesn't make you feel like alone. So I know that once I go back to school, I'll probably go to the gym on my own sometimes, but my roommate also works out, so I'll probably go with her too and it's just fun with a partner, so like that's also an option. You can go with someone else and it can be like more fun than just being like like pedal to the metal you know um sorry this is like all over the place like <laughs> of course I had things that I wanted to say but once I go on camera like I'm just like talking because I have so many things to tell you guys but um another thing that I wanted to discuss was that when if you do like cardio like either the um elliptical stepper the bike or the treadmill it's really at least how I look at it I don't look at the calories that I'm losing I don't focus on that I focus on how many mile or like how um, far I'm going and sometimes I check the time just how long it takes me to do a mile and I think that's important because if you're focusing on like the calorie aspect of things I mean, sure, that's good, I guess, for some people, it works for some people, but in my past, I've had some problems with, like, eating, and I've been, like, obsessed with, like, making sure I'm a certain weight and stuff, and I never want to fall back into that. Like, of course, sometimes I have thoughts, and, like, I want to be skinny and stuff, and I'm not saying that I'm not skinny, but, um, it's just, like, certain thoughts stick with you, you know? And if I focused on the calories, or like if it said how much you are losing in weight, that wouldn't be healthy for me mentally. And to go to the gym to help yourself physically, you need to be mentally healthy as well. At least myself personally, I do. Because like I said before, you should go with good intentions. Like you shouldn't go trying to impress someone. Um, you shouldn't go trying to beat someone. Um, you should just do it for yourself and on Monday I didn't do six miles on the bike but today I did like six miles and, and that made me feel awesome because I wasn't trying to beat the person next to me and I wasn't focusing on how fast she was pedaling or anything like that I was focusing on me and what I could do with my own physical strength and stamina and like I just think that's something that you can get in many other aspects of life because most other things are like a competition and it's sad that it's like that but sometimes it can feel like most things are competition but when you're working out and you're doing it for yourself it's just it's like awesome and I never thought I would be a person that would say I love working out but now I must have converted because I do love it and I look forward to going every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I don't mind waking up early because it makes me feel so good and the other day my sister asked me if I want to play badminton outside and the old me would have said no like I just want to watch TV like I don't want to go outside but I was like yeah that's so exciting she was like who are you <laughs> like what she couldn't she couldn't believe that I was like excited to do like some physical activity outside and of course you can do like anything outside like you it's like summertime you can go swimming you can play tennis like you can do anything you want outside and it's like just as good as working out in a gym but um, I like doing sort of both because I have really grown to love the gym atmosphere. And like I said, that might be because Planet Fitness is like really, it really encourages like no judgment and like there's no criticism and they call themselves the judgment free zone. And I think that's such a good message. And to anyone who's like nervous about going to the gym because they're self-conscious or they've never been or anything, I would definitely recommend Planet Fitness because it's just awesome. Like I can't recommend them enough. But um, I think that's all I had to say I never know how to like wind these down but um yeah if you guys have any questions about like 
any workout things or whatever, um, feel free to leave them in the comments or send me a message. And yeah, I hope that I inspired someone to face their fear if they're a little bit nervous about going to the gym because I think it will really help you like not only in like getting fit but also facing your fears and that might be why I love it even more than just like the like getting fit aspect. I like it because it helped me face one of my, face one of my fears and like prove myself wrong that I, I can do it like I'm not too afraid to do it. So I hope you all are having a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.